my dear students. Welcome back to another online math class with Teacher Ray. Before we start, please prepare the following. Your textbook, your pen, and your copybook. Ready? Okay, now open your book on page 777, lesson 14-1, the coordinate system. For this lesson, you are expected to be able to locate points on a coordinate grid. The essential understanding for this lesson is the coordinate system uses two perpendicular number lines intersecting at the origin to name the location of points in the plane. Previously, students graphed points on a number line. In this lesson, they use ordered pairs to find and name points on a coordinate grid. Before we move on to our lesson itself, let us unlock the vocabulary terms that we will be using or that will be very helpful for the lesson. So the terms are coordinate grid, x-axis, y-axis, origin, ordered pair, x-coordinate, and y-coordinate. Let's start defining them one by one. First, we have the coordinate grid. It is used to locate points in a plane using an ordered pair of numbers. Next, x-axis, a horizontal line passing through the origin that includes both positive and negative numbers. Again, remember, when it's x-axis, it's always horizontal. Next, we have the y-axis, a vertical line passing through the origin that includes both positive and negative numbers. Again, when we say y-axis, it's a vertical line. Next, origin is the point where two axes of a coordinate grid intersect. It is represented by the ordered pair 0, 0. Next term, we have ordered pair, a pair of numbers used to locate a point on a coordinate grid. Next, we have x-coordinate, the first number in an ordered pair, which means or which names the distance to the right or left from the origin along x-axis. And the last term is y-coordinate, the second number in an ordered pair, which names the distance up or down from the origin along the y-axis. On the first grid, plot a point where two lines intersect. Name the location of the point. Plot and name another point. Work with a partner. Take turns describing the locations of the points on your first grid. Then plot the points your partner describes on your second grid. Compare your first grid with your partner's second grid to see if they match. Use the grids shown to solve this problem. Now let us answer solvent chair. So you are asked to plot points. So first, let's have this point, And the ordered pair of this point is 3, 5. Next is the opposite, which is 5, 3. And the other grid, let's have 6 and 3. So go right 6 spaces and up three spaces. Next, look back. Why does the order of two numbers that name a point matter? Explain your thinking. The order of the numbers matters because the first number represents the number of units to move from zero on the x-axis, and the second number represents the number of units to move from zero on the y-axis. How do you name a point on a coordinate grid? Think about this question during the lesson. A 
A map shows the locations of landmarks and has guides for finding them. In a similar way, a coordinate grid is used to graph and name the locations of points in a plane. How can you use the grid on the map to describe the location of a place? You can use the numbers at the bottom and on the left side to name the location of a place you want to describe. A coordinate grid has a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. The point at which the x-axis and y-axis intersect is called the origin. You can use ordered pairs to locate points on a coordinate grid. A point on the grid is named using an ordered pair of numbers. The first number, the x-coordinate, names the distance from the origin along the x-axis. The second number, the y-coordinate, names the distance from the origin along the y-axis. Why are the pairs of numbers used to name points on the coordinate grid called ordered pairs? The numbers are always named in the same order, the x-coordinate first and the y-coordinate second. Now you know how you name a point on a coordinate grid. Great job! Okay, let us review the essential question. How do you name a point on a coordinate grid? So you can use ordered pairs to locate points on a coordinate grid. A coordinate grid has a horizontal x-axis, so this one, and a vertical y-axis. The point at which the x-axis and y-axis intersect, this point, is called origin. A point on the grid is named using an ordered pair of numbers. So this one is an ordered pair. The first number the x-coordinate names the distance from the origin along the x-axis. The second number, y-coordinate, names the distance from the origin along the y-axis. In the example shown, name the ordered pair for point B if it is three units to the right of point A. Tell how you decided. Okay, let us answer. Convince me. Four, three. Point A is one, three. So three units to the right would give an x coordinate of four. The y coordinate does not change. All right, let us answer the guided practice. Number one. You are graphing point E at 0, 5. Do you move to the right 0 units or up 0 units? Explain. You move 0 units to the right. The first number names the distance from the origin along the x-axis, which is to the right. Number 2. What ordered pair names the origin of any coordinate grid? So that is 0, 0. Number 3. Describe how to graph point K at 5, 4. Move 5 units to the right of the origin and 4 units up. Next, in 4 and 5, write the ordered pair for each point. Use the grid. For number 4, point B. So here is point B. So let's count from the origin. We have 1, 2, 3. Going up, 1, 2. So the ordered pair is 3, 2. Next number 5 is point A. Our point A is here, and that's 0, 0, 0, 0. In 6 and 7, name the point for each ordered pair on the grid above. So 5, 3. 
So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 1, 2, 3. And that's point D. Next for number 7, we have 1, 4. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's point C. Alright. So did you understand how to plot the points and name the points in the coordinate grid? Okay, very good. So now, it's time to do your independent task. Please answer independent practice item numbers 8 to 18, page 779, and item numbers 1 to 18, page 781. And the problem solving item numbers 19 and 27, page 780, and numbers 22 to 24, page 782. We will check your answers in the next part of our video. See you. Bye.